Hey everyone, it's Mark here from cloudbike.co.uk and I'm here today with a review of the Razer and Onsee MMO Gaming Keyboard. And now Razer uh, kindly got in touch with me and said, would I review this? And of course, uh, I was more than happy to. I know it's been a while. Uh, so let's get into the review. I've been using this for a few days. Aha, magic. Um, yeah, th that's the uh, cool box that it comes in. I just thought I'd show you that. Um, but yeah, here is the keyboard itself. It's a really, really well-built keyboard. Uh, I'm really impressed with uh, how solid it, it feels. It's got a nice a nice weight to it as well. So there was no uh, using it and it, and it sliding around. It's sliding a little bit now because it's on some cloth. But um, yeah, when I was using it, there was no sliding around at all. I was really impressed. So yeah, as you can see, it's a, a really nice laid out keyboard. It's a full size keyboard as well. So you've got all your num keys around here um, and your full uh, keyboard interactions here, as long with extra keys at the side here for uh, uh, macros and some other keys down here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into all the different features of this keyboard for you. One thing that you need to note with this keyboard is it does use two uh, USB uh, sockets. Uh, so you will need to make sure you've got two available. Um, the reason being is it uses one for all the data that you uh, that you input and then it needs the extra power for uh, for all the lighting that comes with this keyboard which I'm going to show you soon. Um, so yeah, just make sure you've got two. The gold plated as well. Okay, so let's jump into these keys at the very top here firstly. Uh, we've got all these media keys as you can see all along uh, from F1 to F8. Uh, these are your usual media keys that you tend to get on uh, all keyboards. Uh, you've got your sound keys here. Um, and then you've got all your play, stop, forward, back. You know, so if you like listening to music, perhaps while you're gaming, it's something you've got uh, full control over here. Okay, as we go further along to F11, uh, you'll see that this is like a, a target type um, uh, a symbol with a G in the middle of it. So what this does is it goes into, uh, you can turn this on and it turns it into gaming mode. Um, and up on the little uh, display up here, we can see uh, if I turn it on and off. Okay, on is when it goes green and it's off when uh, it completely disappears. And um, what the gaming mode does is if you've ever been in a game and uh, perhaps it's a game that you really need to, you know, keep uh, keep active in. So something like um, an FPS where if you stand still for a few seconds, you're likely to get shot or, or an MMO where, you know, you're, you're, you're with your guild and you're killing all, that, all you, the big bosses and things. And if you accidentally, you know, when you've clicked the Windows key, Oh yeah, and you've left the game, and you're like, I'm trying to get back in, I'm trying to get back in, but your character's just standing there, your, your guild mates are all dying because they need you to heal them, or keep re uh, keep tanking that boss. Um, yeah, what that does, the gaming mode, is it'll disable that Windows key down there for you, so that you can ensure that you can uh, keep up the fight without accidentally leaving the game. The next key comes onto the lighting, which I'll talk about in a second, uh, but basically, if I click... That key, once you can see all the lighting has gone off, if I click it again, the light has gone on the lowest setting. There is then a medium setting and then a, uh, a much brighter setting. And uh, I don't know if the lighting will show up great on this uh, on this camera at the moment, um, but I can see the lighting and it's really bright here because I've got extra light so that you can see everything. Um, so at night time, this really, really brightens up the room and I actually found that I preferred on the medium setting as well. Okay, moving along to this final key up here. Um, this is a sleep key. So uh, often keyboards years ago used to have dedicated sleep keys and like a lock key and things. Uh, they seem to have disappeared lately however Razer's bought back the sleep key so if you're somebody who doesn't really understand how sleep works if you're in Windows and um, perhaps you've got a computer that loads up really slow and stuff perhaps try the using sleep what it basically does is it'll give a little bit of power to um, the RAM I believe so that you can resume in a state that you left in so if you've got a few applications open and stuff um, and you, you need to turn your computer off because perhaps it's too noisy and you want to go sleep or you want to save some power put it to sleep instead and then when you just move the mouse when you want to wake the computer up you'll boom you'll be back into windows within seconds usually so definitely give that a go if you've never tried sleep because it's really good Okay, so the other keys that we've got are these ones down the side here. These are all for macros. Now, if you're not familiar with what macros are, uh, basically they're for like little scripts that you can run. Um, some games uh, are fully compatible with them, have them built in, like World of Warcraft. Um, seeing as this is an MMO keyboard, 
it's a great keyboard for that for gamers in world of warcraft other games uh you can sort of make your own um which is really simple to do with the software i'm going to show you that in just a second uh but yeah what a macro can do is say you uh say you are in, in world of warcraft and you want to do uh, a, a set sequence of spells so you want to do um, a healing spell i don't know the spell names i'm sorry but yeah you want to do perhaps like a healing spell an attack and then a heal again you could set macros up to do all that for you and you might want to announce that you're doing those spells at the same time so you could click like this key up here It'll do the healing spell and it'll announce to all all the uh, all the party that you're in. I am now healing. You wouldn't probably do that, but you know what I mean. You can do do cool stuff like that. You can link loads of different things together. Now, what these final keys do down here is these are like modifier keys. So you don't just have one, two, three, four, five keys here. Oh no, you can actually program all of these keys, and then you can modify them. So this could be like set number one. You click this button, set number two, you click this button, set number three, and so on. So you've got all these different keys. So if you just wanted to set these up down here, um, you could click um, that one there and then that. It would do one set. Uh, so perhaps that would be a healing one. And then you could click that. They then uh, they all then turn into attack ones. You see what I mean? So you can modify and you can get loads and loads and loads of keys out of this, which is really cool. Okay, so just before I'm going to show you the software for the macros I just want to show you this lighting because this is the best lighting keyboard I've ever had um, the reason being is often you'll get uh, perhaps one color that a keyboard can do and then change the brightness sometimes you may be looking it can do a few more colors it can usually do a little spectrum so something like red to blue so you get like reds purples and then blues um, no not with this keyboard this does 16 million different colors Oh yes, yeah, 16 million. I'm pretty amazed at that. Okay, so it's a bit difficult to show you the lighting, of course, when there's a lot of light around. But hopefully you can see that there. Um, you can see at the moment that the uh, the colour down here and, and on the keys, if I just uh, sort of block the light a little bit there, uh, you can see it's actually cycling through all the different colours that you can have. I really like that little feature, actually, that you can cycle through different colours. Uh, it makes it really uh, uh, cool to watch, especially at night when uh, it's going through all the different colours. However, you might not want it, you know, hitting like it is now, hitting the pinks and things like that. So you can specify a colour, um, whichever one that you want. So if I just show you on the uh, the software here, as you can see, uh, if we hit colour, we can uh, pick all these uh, predetermined colours, or we can have custom colour. And remember, guys, you've got 16 million different colours that you can pick from in this spectrum here which is pretty amazing so if i click um orange for instance because i think the orange looks pretty cool we can uh if i hit apply here you'll see that it's it's automatically changed to that and i love how it doesn't just like quickly change as well it, it smoothly changes i know that's like just a, a more of a cosmetic uh, feature but yeah it's pretty cool how it does it so if i click a red here um you'll see now that this should start uh change into red more of a red color there we go uh, it looks a little orange on the on the camera but it's it's bright red to me okay you'll also see on the on the software here um we've got uh three different tabs we've got manage macros manage profiles because you can have multiple profiles on this keyboard as well and we've got assign keys so on the assign keys tab here you can see that i can hover over each individual key it's really nicely displayed here you can see each one lighting up in the uh, in the bottom right there it's really clever and you can have different profiles like i said before um so we can have all different profiles for different games so we could have a, a perhaps a world of warcraft one uh, if you play the lord of the rings mmo one uh, battlefield uh, call of duty you know all the different games that you want you could have different profiles for which is pretty cool as well um, and then what you can do is you can click a key and you can see what it what you uh, uh, want it to do down the bottom so we can have it as the default key uh, we can switch profiles we can assign a macro uh, we could launch a program uh, just do a single key you can change it a key so you know if you can ever get hold of your mates you know perhaps make the the queue become a b or whatever uh no don't do that <laughs> uh, but yeah you can uh, assign it to do all different things as well which is pretty cool um because you know you've got real customizability here and also don't forget you can change your profile to do different things not in just games okay so if you're a bit of an editor you know you you, you make videos on youtube or something like that 
why not set one up for if you use like Sony Vegas or Premiere or something like that to do all different things as well. It's a pretty, pretty good idea. Uh, it's really easy to add a new profile. You just click new. You type the name. So uh, let's call it uh, Modern Warfare 3. If anybody still plays that, my God. Um, but yeah, you can <laughs> yeah you can uh, make different profiles and you can have it auto switch in as well, which is pretty cool if you want. Or you can assign a key on the actual keyboard. Okay, and then if we go into the macro one, I'll just show you this one. Uh, you can make macros on the fly with the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to zoom out so that you can see the keyboard a little bit better. Okay, so let's have a quick look at macros. Um, macros, remember, can do all different scripts for you and stuff like that. And you can record them on the software or on the fly. I pre personally prefer the software way. It's a little bit easier to edit. But if you need something really quickly, you're in a game, you've got no time to load up the software, you know, tweak everything, you just quickly want to make a, um, a macro, then this is a great way to do it. You can do it straight on the keyboard. I'll just quickly show you how to do that. All you need to do is click the FN and this M key like that and this turns red okay what that means is it's now recording the um, the macro that you want to make so say I'm just gonna do something really simple so I want to do you know control s usually saves stuff so let's do control s so I hit the control button and I click s there we go okay now that will still stay red because it's waiting for more commands but I've finished so when I want to stop recording all I need to do is click the FN key and that one again and you'll see that this now starts blinking what that means is you've stopped the recording but it now wants to know what key you want to assign that to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit one of the keys I'll just slide this along hopefully you'll be able to see this hit one of these keys here like that and the lights stop blinking so now one of my little macro keys in the very top corner is now control s so that's a really easy way to quickly make a macro if you want to do it that way the other way of course is on the um on the software so we can uh, give our macro a particular name so actually we need to make a new one first so let's click new but we'll give it a name and we'll just call it save like so once we've done that we click ok and what we can do is hit the record button here. So it's just the same sort of way of doing it. But So if I click record and then I'll click control S. Uh, control S. Okay, you can see there it's gone how far down and uh, up again. If anybody's watched my Lodge Chat videos, you, you've seen me go through this sort of stuff. Which tends to be the same. We can uh, stop the recording now, like so. And then we can assign all the basic keys and everything. And you can see that you can actually tweak the delay. So if you've made a, it's taken you a bit of time to remember to put the macro in, you could tweak all these delays here. You see that? It's really cool. So if we don't want a delay at all, we can completely remove it. If we want a longer delay, because I know like with some games, I remember with, with WoW, when I used to play WoW, you used to have to have a certain delay in between doing things. Otherwise, it just wouldn't run the macro at all. Uh, I think it's like an anti-cheat sort of thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've just changed that. So I've made the half a second delay now. Really cool how you can do stuff like that. Um, you can also ignore the delays if you want to completely. Um, you can insert, sorry, insert a default delay, and we can do basic commands and all that. You can export all this out and import it. And when you've done, just click apply. Okay, and that's now sent that to the keyboard, and it's now ready for you to play. Okay, so that is the Razer Anansi MMO Gaming Keyboard. I'm really, really impressed with this keyboard. If you're somebody who wants to do all those macros and things like that, you've got to get this keyboard. It's brilliant, okay? You've got all these different keys, like over 100 programmable keys. I mean, that's a lot of macros that you guys can make. Um, and I think you'll have, probably have fun doing them as well as, you know, when you're in your game, it's going to give you that advantage. If you're someone who's there clicking away all these different spells and all these different buttons to try and achieve something that another person might just be clicking one button for just remember that especially in things like pvp like uh you know player versus player sort of things and uh, like arenas and you know all that sort of stuff uh this can probably give you the edge team it up with a good mouse perhaps a razor mouse or something um then you know you've got a great combination
The touch feedback on this keyboard is really good as well. It's not a uh, mechanical keyboard before anybody asks me. A lot of people are asking, is it mechanical? Is it mechanical? Is it mechanical? No, it's not mechanical. This one isn't. Um, however, the, the feedback is really good. And Razer has always been really uh, a big for feedback. That's why you've got like the gold plate connections and everything like that. They're all about the response time, minimizing that response time to really low. So, you know, if you're worried about response time on this this keyboard it's really really quick and the feedback like i say you know the keys really bounce up like if i'm hitting them i can really feel them bouncing back up uh, for me as well so they feel great and you could tell every time you've touched the key Overall, guys, this is a great keyboard. Thank you very much to Razer for sending me out. Sorry this review's been pretty, uh, pretty long one, uh, but I like to always do in-depth reviews. If you if you want to see some more keyboards and, and mice from me, make sure you give me a, a thumbs up on this. I have got lots of other different reviews of different keyboards, and mice, um, headsets as well. I do a lot on headsets. So if you're after gaming stuff, make sure you check out my channel, um, and there will be more coming soon. Until next time guys, have a great day and have fun gaming and I'll see you again soon.